The First Minister of Scotland on the global stage, where she hopes one day to stride as the leader of an independent nation. Since Scottish voters rejected independence in 2014, the world has changed, and with the UK now preparing to leave the EU, Nicola Sturgeon has another chance. The UK is not just leaving the EU. There is a real danger developing that it will leave the EU in the most damaging way possible. It is totally counterproductive for the UK as a whole to prioritise control of immigration over any other outcome for Brexit, but it is especially damaging for a country like Scotland. Nicola Sturgeon met California's Democratic Governor Jerry Brown. They signed a pledge to work together to combat climate change, in contrast to the Republican White House, which is prioritising economic growth over cutting emissions. Ms Sturgeon is not meeting anyone from President Trump's administration during her five days in the United States. She did meet Apple's chief executive Tim Cook to discuss pioneering medical research, as well as holding talks with other firms including Tesla, which makes electric cars and batteries. What we're trying to do in Scotland, and it's why coming to meet companies like Apple, Tesla as well, we're trying to take these big challenges that the world faces where Scotland has got a comparative advantage and not only lead the world in doing the right thing, but also try to get the economic advantage of that in terms of investment for Scotland as well. How do you respond to the accusations that are being made back in Scotland, particularly by the Conservatives who say you're simply grandstanding abroad and talking too much about independence? This trip is fundamentally about business links and about trade and that is all the more important now in light of Brexit, that Scotland gets out there and sells the message about what an attractive place we are to do business. That's part of my day job. Nicola Sturgeon sketched out a political philosophy here which used to be very popular, of an open country which uses the fruits of free trade to benefit everyone in society. How much modern Scotland agrees with this vision may yet determine the future of her country. James Cook, BBC News, at Stanford in California.